Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud Technical Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we read a set of files, zip them, and send the zip file to an outbound FTP location. So you have to consider the source and destination of FTP. And let's understand like what are the components required to design this particular integration. So these are the couple of steps which are involved in this particular solution. The first one is we have to always start with the FTP connection. Once we design the connection, then what we can do is we need to create an integration. In our case, we are considering a schedule orchestration integration. Then make use of a list file, list file connection. And using list files, what we are trying to do is we just want to list all the files which are available in a particular FTP location directory. Read each file, download the file, and once all the files are downloaded using the for loop, then what we are trying to do is we are using a stage file activity for the purpose of creation of a zip file. Once the zip file is ready, we are writing the zip file to the FTP connection. These are the couple of steps involved in this. Let's get into our integration editor and let's start with the creation of this particular one. So as we know that like first step in integration is always creation of a connection. Let's create an FTP connection. So I'll go with the adapter FTP. The same example can also work with your local file adapter if you don't have FTP. I'll just select FTP. So FTP require four, four properties, username, password, your host, your FTP host IP address, as well as the port number. So let me enter the FTP or our trainings too. I'll go with the role as trigger and invoke as of now. And now mention the host address. So this is my host IP. Click on configure connectivity. port number 21 and click on configure security mention the username click on ok now click on test click on test again Yeah, it's 100%. Save. Now close. Yep, our connection is ready and it is an active state. Now the next step is go to integrations, click on create, and we want to go with a schedule orchestration integration style. Click on select. Mention the integration name. FTP inbound outbound zip file and here better to mention a package name always so that you know like you can segregate the list of samples based you know your integrations based on your module which you're working on click on create yep now the first step is list of files so click on the connection i'll go with FTP or trainings to connection yeah, I'll just mention list of files next. And here mention the functionality, the operation, what we want to achieve, list of files from which location. So I just want to read the list of files which are available in our inbound directory. So I'll mention this location slash inbound and which file we want to read any file in that location. Go with the default settings, nothing to change. Click on next, done, okay. Yeah, so now we have this information. So once you have the files, what is the next step? We have to iterate this list files, nothing but read each and every file, download the file into our ICS, right? So I'll just use for loop now. This one for each, which is a commonly used functionality or it is available in actions also, either way it will work both. I'll go with for each for loop read each file now in the list file response in the file list okay this will take some time yeah click on file attribute and use this icon for the selection purpose yep so this has got green means correct 
yeah so mention the current element name so mention some name here current file name can create okay now the files is available now next step is download the files right download the file so i can try this way horizontal yeah this is quite good let me minimize a little bit yeah now here we have the files available and now we have to download the file so using this particular one again we have to use ftp connection download the file okay download files click on next download a file right again the inbound and file name anyway we have to map it go with the default nothing to change and it will ask you to which location right so inbound directory we know it and outbound this download directory is a temporary directory which which oic this ics uses at runtime so it just kind of any location just mention some value that's it okay done so now the files are available here if you observe what we have done so far is first of all read the list of files which are available in your ftp and then each file download to the ics environment okay and once the files are available in the ics environment you can perform the zip and that zip file you can move to ftp so here we have to mention the mapping because you have the content in your file but it has to be applied to this download files right click on this mapping we have the information at the current file response right so now current file this is a file name and download file to ics this was the stuff right so map them accordingly file name okay validate and close okay now we have the files next step is have make use of stage file directory to zip the files so we have the file list of files which are available and all the files are downloaded in the ics environment now the list of files which are available we have to make we have to create them as a zip right so use a stage file action click on stage file action stage file write zip file and what we want to achieve so a stage file provides these number of things it provides read entire file read file in segments so when you want to read the data in a segment by fashion you can use this kind of concept and now in our case we want to just use a zip file i'll just go with zip file here now click on this so what is the file name we want to mention for a zip file as of now we can hard code but later on you can try to do a different logic right i'll just say ftp files dot zip click on save exit similarly specify the location specify the directory to zip right so where are the files available so files are available in the slash temp mention that and output directory we want to write the files to outbound directory right so mention that next okay now we have the information in the zip file we have the zip file now this zip file is still available only in the ics environment it is not it will not be returned to your ftp until we perform the ftp write operation so we'll select ftp or our trainings to again now here i'll just say write ftp zip file write file binary outbound file name i just go with some convention but we have to modify it anyway okay select no and done yeah now map it 
click on this mapping, click on this. So this is our write file information and we are reading the file from our stage file one, zip file response. Select the file reference, mention the file reference to this. Similarly, select the file name. Okay, directory is not required because anyway, we already mentioned there. Click on validate and close. Okay. Save it. Yeah, check this one. Click on tracking and select a particular one so that it can use it for tracking field. Save it. Now close. Okay, now let's try to activate the integration. So this is schedule integration, but you know, like we don't have any exact schedule available, but what we can do is we can still run in a doc mode. So let's run it first. Yeah, I'm just activating it and yeah it will take some time yep it got activated so what you can do on this particular one on the integration you have an option called submit now which performs an ad hoc execution right so just an ad hoc request click on submit now now what we can do we can monitor the integration we have to go to the monitoring one right so now we are in the designing designing window you can just click on this and you can go to monitoring and you can find out what is happening to your integration click on tracking or you can click on runs yep so started just now okay Yeah, it is going on right still it is happening in the tracking you can just click on it so in the tracking it is quite visible about you know like a what at what state it is right now it is doing a list of files it has not reached the end right so you can just simply click on refresh and see if it get if it perform if it does any progress let's close this one and retry again yeah it is still happening i have less files oh there is one 10 mb file that could be the reason there is one time one of the file which is of 10 mb that could be the reason you know it is taking time but still, as it is a development environment, it may work differently compared to your normal real-time production environment. Okay, so let's wait for a few more seconds. I can do an audit trial. When last time message was started for each loop, each file. I don't think there is an error, but still, still it's running two minutes. Yeah. 
Let's wait for some more time. Yep, completed, right? So let's see, check out Outbound, whether you have zip file. Perfect, right? We have the zip file which is available here. But if you want to find out whether the contents are correct or not, right? What I can do is I'll just download this zip file into my local system, right? And check out the zip file. So we have all the files which are available in my source location. So this is one of the way we you know where you can design integration, which reads the files, zip them, and sends the output. And this monitoring plays a very crucial role where you can find out how your process is running and you can get the error log. You can get the what you say like um, the payload information when you get really when you in the real time when you get an error. Okay, thank you.